Hi, Mark Randy here from Applied Design Intelligence. This is a brief little video so I can uh, go over some of the details that I probably missed in my blog post about 2D to 3D CAD conversion. Um, this is how I started this conversion. I grabbed a 2D drawing from AutoCAD. It's one of the sample files that come with the program, or I guess it's for a tutorial or something. You can see I'm zooming with a 3D connection device. There's a bearing in here. There's some fillets here. Uh, there's some kind of retaining rings. I guess they're circlips. Yes, they are circlips. Um, a retaining block. This roller assembly, you can see a shaft inside of here, an axle. Uh, there's a nut. Some nuts here. There's a tapped hole. So that's how it started. And let me see. We'll go back to Inventor. And this is how we ended up. All of the parts were converted to 3D. As you can see over here in the uh, browser, all of the parts, there's side assemblies. This is exactly how you would build it in real life. You'd make two of these side assemblies and then attach them with that um, shaft here with the roller in the middle. If we drill down into these, we have a wheel assembly and there's them circlips. These are everything's held together with constraints that mimic real life. You can spin these circlips, you can spin this. You see we'll go back to uh now I don't need to save it. I'll go here. You can see the entire wheel is spinning. And if we go back to the top level, you can spin the wheels and you can spin this roller, which means all of my constraints are correct. Let me drill down into that a little further. We can open this wheel assembly and then drill all the way down to the part level where we have one of the circlips. If I check the properties on the circlip, we can see it's steel, high strength, low alloy, and it weighs 0.026 pounds. If we go back to the main structure, we can see that this weighs, uh, update, 70.670 pounds. And let's check out the bill of materials here. I have to save it and click on the bill of materials and you can see there's one shaft and eight lock washers bunch of split rings nuts and all your information in there also we can go to the View tab and get the center of gravity information, which is also contained down here in the inertial properties. We have a principal global and center of gravity right there. Another advantage of having a model done correctly like this is that you can tie this all to your ERP system so you can get real-time pricing information, stock availability, stuff like that. That should wrap up this video. I'm Mark Granda from Applied Design Intelligence. Come over to the website and see the rest of the stuff there. Thanks a lot.